It's a big urban sprawl. It's a working class area with low car ownership. It really has become a, a sort of a, a glaring error in, in our planning and I'm asking uh, the authority along with the operators that will rethink and try and come back with, with something better. Uh, and thank you for your time and your indulgence, Chair. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for that, uh, Steve. Obviously, um, we'll give you a full detailed and formal response, but I'll just sort of start by saying, first and foremost, thanks for the, the petition, because I think it's always very useful when we can see the strength of local feeling about these kind of issues. That office is, is very helpful to us. Um, as you rightfully kind of pointed out, uh, Avon ceasing trading and the way that they did cease trading, if I put it very diplomatically, was extremely difficult for the organisation. I think our buses team have done an exceptional job in plugging many gaps um, in the sort of network that Avon left behind. But we fully appreciate you know, there are still those kind of challenges you rightly kind of point about the difficulties in your own ward. Obviously the budget, uh, budgetary um, constraints we have are not easy to be extremely mildly. But as we sat down earlier on today, uh, we're more than happy to sit down with you to look at what more might be done to tweak this within you know, compromises within the budget to try and kind of find a better outcome than, than where we are at this moment in time. But obviously we'll give you a more detailed formal response within the relevant timescale. So thanks ever so much for that. There's no uh, urgent business approved by myself, uh, other than for me to say it is the last meeting of, of 2018. Uh, obviously we've had a collection for the food bank and thank you to everyone that's, that's contributed to that. I think that kind of uh, is very, very sort of gratefully received, particularly at this time of year. And it will be distributed amongst a number of local charities. Uh, and all it falls for me now to sort of say is to wish you and all your family and your friends the very, very best for Christmas and the new year. I look forward to seeing you all in January.